Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yeah, y'all, I know this is no, this is not the main channel. You are watching JJV TV, which is the name of the second channel. And um, yeah, I, I wanted to do a reaction video for this new uh, Saints Row Ultimate Customization Showcase. Um, for those of you who may not know, if you ha haven't been following the news on the new uh, Saints Row reboot, this is a game that's been riddled with controversy um a lot of people were very negative a lot of people who in the community who play these saints row games were very negative towards this game because of the whole woke narrative you know what i'm saying the college kids committing crimes to pay for their college debt narrative all because of a, a developer saying that he wouldn't do the things that that the, that the saints do in order to pay for his college debt and people just took that and yeah, it just became this whole thing, and yeah. But anyway, um, enough of the enough of that noise. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm gonna give this game a real chance. I did give this ultimate customization showcase a once over. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see. You know, I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't help myself. I had to see what was going on, going on with this uh, showcase, and I just want to share my thoughts with y'all. As we progress through this video, fair warning, this may be a fairly long video as this original video is uh, a little over 23 minutes long. So let's go ahead and jump right into it by liking the hey hey. Go! <clears throat> it's about time you guys all showed up. Hi, I'm Mika Burton, and we have got a lot of ground to cover here in Santo Ileso, the new home of Saints Row. We are about to go on a deep dive on tons of all that Saints Row customization has to offer. And we will also meet the devs. So let's jump in and get a better idea of what Saints Row customization is all about. I don't care what anyone says, whether it's a it's a Fortnite lookalike game or not, I don't care. I'm excited for this game. I can't wait to play it. Anyway. Saints Row gives you the ultimate freedom to express yourself in the weird Wild West. You've never seen anything like this before. So buckle up. Out here, it's every boss for themselves. We're gonna give you the lay of the land. How to craft your perfect boss, your fleet of sweet rides, your weapons, your crew, and even your Saints HQ. It's time to build your criminal empire in style. People come to Santo Aliso from all over because it's a place that bleeds attitude. Here, you do you. In Saints Row, show off your personal clothing style. From shirts, pants, shoes, and hats to full combos, underwear, overwear. Now that's what I'm talking about, man. I like that they're showcasing um, the in, in detail all the customization options uh, in regards to the clothing. You know, I'm very thankful that they're bringing back the layered clothing. Yeah, man. And it, it looks like we got a bunch of bunch of different options, man. Let's go. And even socks. Man, you can change everything, including your socks, bruh. Oh. I like how in the corner they got the hashtag be your own boss. It all starts at the top. Customize and style every hair on your head down to your eyebrow color. Yo, changing the eyebrow colors. Okay, I like that. I don't think we really quite had that in any of the original games. Not even in Saints Row 2. I think I think you had your um your first layer and second layer of hair where you change the coloring, but then I think yeah, like 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 the main part of your hair and then the secondary hair. I think if you change the secondary hair, it changes the eyebrows with it. But I like that the eyebrows are going to be their own thing as far as the uh, coloring is concerned. 
And uh, it looked like we have some very familiar hairstyles as well, along with some new ones as well. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, explore the customization suite for the character. Anyone can build their entire look around anything. Like Dude, you can even customize the teeth. And style every hair on your head down to your eyebrow color. Anyone can build their entire look at that. You can customize your teeth too, bruh. You can customize your 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 uh, your uh, grill piece if you want. Look around anything like skin, <laughs> control the type, texture, tint, gloss, scar. What texture, color, tint, and you can cover yourself in scars, of course, and I'm sure tattoos as well. Scars and even muscle and vein definition. Muscle and vein definition, bruh. So you can make your character vascular if you want. Make both sides of yourself uniquely different. Asymmetrical face customization is a... Now here we go. This is where people are going to be screaming, Woke! 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 Because you see a dude, you know what I mean, with makeup and, uh, yeah, looking a certain way or whatever. First, some smear on some lipstick. Add ink. Clown out your face. Or just... What the hell? You can make Shrek in the game, man. The hell customization is a first so smear on some lipstick add ink clown out your face look at that you can even make shrek in the game that's that's funny let's go or just act your age for once oh uh, of course you can make a character older oh yeah fucking real mature in those form fit undies <laughs> hey, working on it it's about shaping the whole package above and below but it's not just the looks that kill. Pick the voice that speaks to you and flex your mood with emotion. Bruh, you, you, so you can really go detailed with your build. And then you can use different objects to censor, of course, you know, you know your, uh, your um, private area, your private regions. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Guaranteed to provoke a reaction from the crowd. Maybe not always the one you're looking for, but hey, fuck them, right? The only way to See, you got that Saints Row man man mentality going on, that Saints Row attitude. You know what I mean? You can do whatever you want. You can look however you want. You know what I mean? People may look at you weird or whatever, but hey, fuck them, right? Hell yeah. This could be better as if you put on a fucking shirt. <laughs> Arrive in style with vehicle customization. Yo. With over 80 rides to... Now this this is more of my my bag right here. Let's go. Collect. You'll have plenty of time to kill in the garage. Go deep under the hood, customizing all your rides. Load up on exotic parts and pieces. Modify Hell yeah. that body, change paint, add grime, make that engine brown. Mm -hmm. And and we got the low rider wheels up in there so we can build some low riders. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Boom. A whole new boss worthy masterpiece. Wow. All that and you won't even brag about souping up your wheels. <laughs> wheels like this? Yo, you can even put like a pearlescent um, finish on your wheels. Bruh. Speak for themselves. <laughs> Boost performance with upgrade kits. And you can put like the chromium uh, wraps on your vehicles too to kind of give them like like a like a a chrome color combo. You know what I mean, bruh? Let's go. Acceleration, nitro, raw speed, and make your chariot battle ready. Okay, you can add nitrous, but what about hydraulics? You got the lowrider wheels up in there, but can we add hydraulics though? Go above and beyond with signature abilities. Think, boss. Yo, we got the Back to the Future Marty McFly hoverboard. Bruh, look at this dude's even dressed up like Marty McFly. He got the, you know, the the, the uh, vest on with the with the denim uh, shirt underneath. You know what I'm saying? My man be looking like Marty McFly, man. Let's go. Worthy maneuvers like crab steering, make your own wrecking ball, or use ejector seats to launch your success to new heights. Make your own wrecking ball? What? Oh, that's my favorite car right there. The Hollywood. This car was modeled after the 57 Chevy Bel Air. I love this car. It's one of my favorite cars. Yo, we got a rocket car? 
you can look at uh, yo that was a badass bike that looked like the kind of bike ghost rider would ride on you know what i'm saying look at that that's a dope ass bike look at that you even got the metal i mean the metal the uh the skeletal spine wrapped around the the uh, tank and everything look you got the skulls right here as like your your uh, side saddles and whatnot, you got a snake skin seat, bro. Let's go. You can look as slick as you want in your customized ride all day, but sooner or later, you're gonna need the perfect weapon. Ooh, we can customize weapons too. Let's go. Change almost every aspect of your weapon's looks. Adjust the material, including the color on individual parts. Change. Yo, that's dope. We could change the color. We could do little combos. Bruh. That is fire. Textures go glossy or metallic. Make it rough or smooth. Add decals too if you want. Ah, look. You can add decals and shit, man. We could even change the texture. I mean, man, let's go. They're just skin deep, right? Why not swap the whole model? Wanna pack that RPG into a guitar case? Yeah, I get the reference, Mr. Mariachi. Yo, we can have a guitar case uh, rocket launcher. Your friends, your saints, your saints vehicles, they all gotta fit together. Tie the collective image into one unified criminal masterpiece. All right, listen up. The church will become your go-to HQ. It's a real fixer-upper that you can custom. So our HQ is going to be a church. <clears throat> is that Saints Row tradition enough for you? Hmm? Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. As the saints grow in <clears throat> power. Yo, look at the exterior of that church. That looks dope. And it's got the saints colors too. That purple and gold. So y'all need to stop crying already, bruh. <clears throat> or, dreaming one level higher, head on up to HQ's second floor, where you can mastermind all your criminal ventures across the entire city. Yo, I, I like what he said right there about the, about the criminal ventures, man. Let's go. Yeah, looks <clears throat> like we can just agree to disagree on who does boss better. Why? Feeling overwhelmed by my outrageous choice? A true boss is never overwhelmed. Oh, we can most definitely agree on that. Wow, that was a lot to take in all at once. But let's talk to the real. And that's what she said rock stars, the devs, about all of this crazy customization you guys just saw. Oh, hey, Volition team, what's up? What's up, Nico? Hey. I absolutely love the trailer, but for me, I have to say, it's raising a couple of more questions than it's answering, but I say that as a total compliment. So let's start with Claire. Well, that Volition team looked very lively, did they? <laughs> Bruh, let's go. Choice, right? What can you tell me about it? We have eight different presets that you can choose from, and using those, go straight into the game, or you can modify a little mm. bit to make it more of your own. I love the quick start elements of it, because I know for myself, when you know you dive into a game the way you plan to spend about 60 plus hours in it, I want to spend time with customization because you enjoy it, but you don't want to spend. Bruh, tell me if th this character right here don't, don't look like Julio White. You know what I mean? The dude who plays Steve Urkel. Tell me that don't look like Steve Urkel. <laughs> Bruh, let's go too much time in it right the strength of going in and just picking preset levels from a starting point provides so many options i want you to make me an instantly recognizable face how do we go about that sure we have a few preset options here too we can make like a baby type of face you can mm. make a very recognizable face in terms of the features but what would really be recognizable would be you know a face that's half one way and half the other like a truly asymmetrical face i we go to some of the options here oh so we can make a character that that, that looks like two-face like we can make our own version of two-face bruh going to the eye options right now but mm. mess around with the depth mess around with the height a little bit and you can start to see on the left side of that face you can start to see the eye start to drop down a little bit but like i said once you start working with a 
Yo, you can make Jason Voorhees too, bruh. Face that is technically two faces, I feel that's truly <coughs> recognizable. So there's a lot of options to play around here, comparing with the eyes, the ears, the nose. There's a lot of different ways to really make a face that's truly, you know, memorable for any player. Absolutely. And how do I. What the heck? You can have your teeth looking like, um, that, what, what do they call it? The uh, candy corn? Two faces, I feel that's truly recognizable. So there's a lot of options to play around here, comparing with the eyes, the ears, the nose. There's a lot of different ways to really make a face that's truly, you know, memorable for any player. Look at that. This character has teeth, has candy corn for teeth. <laughs> Bruh, let's go. Absolutely. And how do I customize my hair? I'm really hoping it's easier than like in real life. It's absolutely easier than in real life. There are plenty of hairstyles to choose from, all different kinds of colors to choose from as well. And I really love the different textures and styles of hair that we have. It's not just different. Oh, look, you can make um, Jigsaw from from Saw, bruh. Uh, tell me this person don't look like Jigsaw. Cuts and lengths, but there are braids, there's ponytails, there's a lot of different options to choose from. I love to hear all of that. My favorite detail of face customization is Probably messing around with, with the eyes and the cheeks. I think that the eyes are very expressive. So I always like to mess around with the heights and like the different colors and even different presets we have to show up. <laughs> different contact, yeah, show up the different. Ooh, that, that is dope, man. We got more um, options for the eyes. Let's go. Mesmerizing eyes, trippy eyes, all, all sorts of things. I really like our makeup and our scars. There's a lot of different ways to make your character all the more personalized and more custom to you. <gasps> We got the Joker. We got the Joker mouth. So you know who I'll be playing as in this game. <laughs> and what your boss looks like just by giving them a really nice eyeliner look or maybe a couple of battle scars. You can make yourself Whatever your idea of awesome is <laughs> with extensive body and clothing customizations. So guys, what are my options for sculpting my character's physique? Can I choose the shape and size? What's actually possible here? You have a lot of possibilities when it comes to changing your size and your physique. Whether you want to look more like a bodybuilder with cap delts and really like striated quads, you can do that. If you want to have a smoother look, you know, you can, you can do that. You can pretty much have the character look however you want. Um, and, and that, that goes for figure, chest size, uh, groin size. We also have prosthetics, to where if you want to have like like hand and leg prosthetics, you can customize your body that way also. That's pretty cool. And you know- Damn, I like that we get more uh, variety this time as far as like different body builds and then you can do prosthetic limbs and whatnot. Okay. Technically skin is one of the first layers of <clears throat> outerwear. So what can we do there? We can change skin tint, we can change texture. There are plenty of different shaders to choose Damn, you can make a, a, a uber jacked female, man. Like, bruh, damn. From as you play the game and progress and unlock them so you can have broken glass or a galaxy to. What the hell, man, look at this. You can have freaking GIF um, skin textures and stuff. What the hell? Really maximize how unique you look. There are different colors as well. So if you wanted to be from the Blue Man group, you probably could. Yo, yo, you, you, you could do the white. The, the, the white skin for the Where? Joker. So what can we do there? We can change skin tint. We can change texture. There are plenty of different shaders to choose from as you play the game and progress and unlock. Yo, so that means you can probably make the Incredible Hulk and She-Hulk if you want. Them so you can have broken glass or a <clears throat> galaxy to really maximize how unique you look. There are different colors as well. So if you wanted to... So look, you can do the white skin and then if you did that Joker mouth, bruh. Again, you know who I'm gonna play as. And let the good times roll. <laughs> be from the Blue Man group, you probably could be. And what if I wanted to express myself with some ink? Can I get tattoos as well? Absolutely. We've got the whole body cover from head to toe, face, neck, arms, legs, chest, torso, and back. That's so cool. And you know the saying goes, clothes do make the person. So let's dive into some outfits. Head to it's actually clothes that make the man, but I mean, whatever. Freaking PC much. So customization with your outfits. You can have helmets, you can have hats, you can put glasses on, you can have something across your face. We clearly have brought back layered clothing. So players, you can have a shirt with a hoodie on top of that, with a jacket over top of that. We really tried to ramp up the granularity that, that you can use in terms of really editing your character's clothing. 
you can do whatever you want in this game. I mean, you have a lot of ways to really express yourself in terms of your clothing. That sounds phenomenal. And I feel like there's probably even more ways I can express myself. Can you dive in a little bit about those? Sure. You can express yourself with your voice. I mean, we have you know, eight different voice options that range from serious to kind of absurd. This game ain't gonna play itself. And there's also a whole bunch of emotes that you can do to where you can have like a type of touchdown celebration if you want. And this turn. All right, so we're gonna have some familiar emotes and then we're probably and then we're going to have some new ones, too. I, I'm seeing some names of uh, some new emotes. And then, that's right, I forgot about the the eight different uh, voice options. There's supposed to be four for males and four for females. So, yeah, that's going to be dope. I can't wait to mess around with that. Emotes where it actually it modifies your walk cycle. You can actually creep down the road, you know, look like you're creeping around. Rather than do it in a place, you can actually walk down. What the hell? So you can do, like, the, 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 the Looney Tunes... You know, tuk, 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 freaking creeper walk. <laughs> Let's go. The entire game and play that animation. And now, a word from our sponsors. Is that old reliable? Not so reliable no more? Oh, it's got spirit all right. But the body can't keep up. Just ain't as rugged as it used to be. <clears throat> now you can haul it off to the junk heap, or you can bring it on down to Jim Rob's where we'll give that beater a new lease on life. Maybe it just needs a new ticker, or some body work and a fresh coat of paint. Whatever it takes, our team's got the goods and the know-how to give that wreck a second shot. Yeah, that's one thing I definitely can't wait to check out is that chop shop, man. I gotta check that out. Because even an old car can learn new tricks at Jim Rob's. You can roll in style with one of the deepest customization pools available in the game, vehicle customization. You can spend hours, if you want, in the garage altering just about any part on your sweet, sweet rides. Let's start with curated collections of vehicle add-ons with the presets. We have over 80 vehicles for players to find, collect, and customize. Each of them offer a preset, which is a completed combination of choices that radically change the look of the vehicle with a single click. And paint is of obvious interest here when it comes to car customization. How deep do those options go? We offer a wide variety of different paint types. I believe we actually have six of them that you can pick from. And they range anywhere between a sleek matte to iridescent pearlescent. There are plenty of mods to choose from on your car. From Look at that. You can do the different texturing and different colors. And then you could do the, the freaking GIF patterns on your car too, man. Bro, let's go your ornament hood to your back trunk. There are lots of different bumpers you can choose from, fenders, hoods. You can even change your roof if you wanted to. You can even change up just your side panels or you can even make it subtle if you want. There are tile profiles for days. You can choose a low profile tire, a higher profile tire. You can change the axle height of your wheels and you can also change the hubcaps. And you can model. So you can change the height of the wheels. You can change like how how spaced out they are so if you want your wheels kind of sticking out on the side to give your car like that wide body look gta y'all need to step your car customization game up i'm just saying modify these either on individual axles or both at the same time and how about the sound when i roll up in my sweet ride the engine the horn you, you have quite a few options when it comes to the audio here you have different options for the engine the horn and also your transmission if you want to pull up with a really loud muscle car sounding engine but you know you want to bump a horn you know coming through like, like you come from the clown circus or whatever then you, you can do that it's just so much oh you know i'm definitely gonna be messing around with the party horn <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going to be playing as a clown prince of crime. I got to have some funny stuff on my car. <laughs> Fun to be able to drive around and antagonize pedestrians with my clown car horn. And say I'd want to give my lift a special lift, if you know what I'm saying. Any specialized equipment options? Absolutely. There's nitrous available for your car, so you can get that extra boost to get away from the cops if you're on the run. There's off-road kits because we're in a desert, so there's going to be a lot of driving out there. There's also a towing cable, so you can connect your car to different objects to take them. Okay, I appreciate the off-road kit. I'm probably going to be playing around with that, too, being that, yeah, we are going to be out in the desert. There's going to be a lot of driving. Um, how about the hydraulics? Huh? 
How about some hydraulics? At least GTA gave us some hydraulics. I'm just saying. I'm with you, wherever you go. You have different upgrade oh. kits that once you fully level them up, it'll unlock a special ability. You can definitely upgrade your car's your speed, performance, durability. You do have the ability there in, in terms of an upgrade kit for all vehicles. And each, each vehicle has a unique upgrade tier. That includes all of our watercrafts. We've got boats, <coughs> hoverboard, VTOLs, helicopters, all have the same amount of customization choices. La Yo, so we can customize motorcycles, we can customize boats, VTOLs, we can customize hoverboards, bruh, bruh. Where's that, where's that, that, um, that Philip J. Fry uh, meme when you need it? Because, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready to give them my money. Let's go. Last thing on this widely expansive topic, let's talk a little bit about signature abilities. So you know when you're trying to get away from the cops, whoever's chasing you, you know, you have to make very sharp, very specific turns. You can unlock an ability called crap stream. So basically, instead of sliding around, you take very small steps around. You can really like corner precisely to help get away from the cops. Yeah, there's also ball and chain. You drag a giant metal ball behind you, which is great when there's pursuit vehicles trying to stop you as you swing it around and knock them from being a threat. My Bro, you can add a wrecking ball behind your car. You know what that reminds me of? I forget which Fast and the Furious movie. I think it's Fast... I think it's Fast Five. When they first introduced The Rock. And they were hauling that, that, that big old safe. That big old vault behind them. That's what that reminds me of. My favorite one is Ejector Seat. That's probably where they got the idea from. I, I, I see you, Volition. I see you. I, I'm, I'm not mad at y'all, though. I, I, I would do the same thing. It's because it means that you can wingsuit from virtually Ooh. anywhere. So oh, you can change your wingsuit? Oh, yeah, that's right. I think they showed it earlier. You could change your wingsuit, too. That's going to be dope. As long as you have that unlocked in your car. Hey, how cool would it be if you can make a character look like Spider-Man and do, like, the web, you know, the, the, the web wings? You know what I'm saying? That would be, that'd be freaking fire. Or if you're, like, you're trying to make a character kind of look like, try to look like Batman as best as you can, and then you have, like, the bat-winged suit. You could do it. Oh, what if you can do, like, like Batman Beyond somehow in Saints Row? You know what I mean? And then have your wings to be like red bat wings or something. You know what I'm saying? I think that, yo, know, that, that'd be freaking dope. There's also kneecappers just in case people don't know how to stay in their lanes while you're driving or if you want an additional boost to keep police from revving into the side of your car. You can just keep hitting the infinite boost button and just keep on going when you finally unlock it. Yo, they got some very familiar rides from the past games in this game. And then they got some new ones too that, that look really interesting to me that I definitely need to check out. And there's also some story related ones that you will end up seeing, but we're not quite ready to share that just yet. So you'll have to wait and see what those end up entailing. Man, how are you going to tease me about, about, some, about some story based equipment and, and not be ready to share that? Like, come on now. Peace out. I like that. I know what you guys are all thinking. But what about my piece, right? Well, we've got tons of weaponry with tons of choice over the aesthetics. And with freedom over where you can customize them, you should have no trouble finding that special sidearm. So how far can I go changing material and colors? You can color any part of the gun that you want from the body all the way down to the minor parts. Well, just like on cars, I kind of like stickers. I want to put... Yo, that, that, that's fire. So we can change again, like the, the, the texturing, the, the uh, material, the... The coloring, bruh, and then they're about to get into decals. Put them all over. So what's available in the decal department? There are plenty of decals available. We have decals based on the Wild West, or if you want to be really fun and colorful, there's also really cool, bright, more fanciful stickers. Ooh. I'm loving all of these details for visual customization, and I really like how my weapon fires, but I want to 100% change the look. Am I asking too much there? No, you're not asking too much at all. This is actually one of my favorite features in the game because you Ooh. can actually change how your weapon looks. Like, for example, I know with the rocket launcher, that's one of my favorite ones. You can turn that into a guitar case. Ooh. There's also another one that I really enjoy when it comes to the assault rifle. You can turn it into like an umbrella. So if you think, kind of think about like a penguin, like back, you know, it's almost like you have like oh, an assault rifle that's, that's an umbrella. Yo, so if you want, you can play as old uh, Oswald Cobblepot and have a, a pe uh, an, an umbrella weapon. Let's go! Like there's a potato cannon. And I think you can turn one of your, the melee bat, the spike bat, into a pinata bat. So that's a fun one as well. I really oh, hell yeah. I really like the cardboard weapons a lot. 
Those are probably- They got cardboard weapons too, what the hell? Probably like my favorite ones. We have so many fun gimmicky weapons like that in the game where when you shoot the weapon or you use the weapon- Yo, they even have giant mallets. You can play as Harley Quinn if you want, man. Let's go. And it doesn't necessarily do what you would expect a weapon to do. There's some really, really cool gameplay elements that unlock a lot of weapons that sort of turn the combat on its head. Got the munchies? If you have the cash, come try our stash at Chalupa Cabra, Santo Ileso's favorite monster food truck. We'll hook you up with hit after hit of farm fresh locally sourced product and hard to find imported delicacies you won't find at those other food trucks. And we cook custom made designer dishes to order. Chalupa Cabra, monster food for a monster appetite. So let's talk about the armory located at the center of the church, Saints HQ. So how does it compare to all of those things that I can do at, say, Friendly Fire? The HQ has got a lot more convenient locations to access things like their weapons. OK, but what about my look? Can I change my wardrobe here? Is this different than using the Style app? You can change your clothes just the same as you could in the Style app. And you can save all of these outfits as presets that you can dress into any time. This place, as we discussed before, also comes with a Yo, preset outfits and everything. I like that. So quick change. Let's say you want to do a quick change or whatever. And you have, you know, a bunch of preset outfits that you can switch from. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm digging that, man. Let's go. Garage. But what would Jim Robs think of me taking my business here instead of there? Yeah. So it really becomes this active hub for choices before you go back out and get to work. Yeah. Anything that you've purchased from Jim Robs will be available right at HQ. Oh, I want that Cadillac. That's a badass Cadillac. Throughout Saints HQ, you'll find these pedestals where it looks like it just needs a little something. You'll have access to a variety of collectibles that you can use to decorate your HQ, and you can switch them out at any time. And there's so many to be discovered. Is there a dress code here for my Saints? You know, I want to customize my crew. Nobody's showing up in bathrobes, right? <laughs> Only if you want them to. You can have them dress in a plethora of styles, different themes. Yo, different you can have them looking like um, Walter White and Jesse Pinkman and in freaking Breaking Bad. If you bad. want them to, you can have them drag. Look, tell me I don't look like Walter White and Jesse Pinkman behind the boss. Bruh. In a plethora of styles, different themes, different aesthetics, you can set the dress code however you want to. Not only nice. that, you can actually set up all the vehicles. So yeah, we, we can still customize our gang if we want. That's cool, I like that. That your crew rolls up in. So if you want them to roll up maybe into a monster truck, you can have them do that. Well, I can't wait to roll up in a crew of a K-pop girl group all dressed out in pink diamond glittery boots. It's going to be phenomenal. <laughs> Please invite me. I want to be part of that <laughs> Absolutely. crew. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, in. I'm in. Yes, I have my crew. <laughs> a feature of this game I really like is that Santo Aleso keeps it real with brick and mortar stores. So where should I explore those and how do those work? So you can actually find these brick and mortar stores all around the city and your map can help guide you there to those different brick and mortar locations. Oh, I like how detailed that map is. So you can actually find these brick and mortar stores all around. Yeah, so they, they've been busy. They, they even touched up the map and everything. Yeah, and it looks like there's a clothing shop here out like on, on, up in the mountainside too and everything. So here's like a good portion of the town right here. Oh, I can't wait to explore. I can't wait to explore this town. On the city, and your map can help guide you there to those different brick and mortar locations. Uh, you will see some old fan favorites, such as leather and lace, but you'll also find out plenty of new ones to discover as well. There's. I like taking my female character to leather and lace. I'm just also, saying. another pop-up shop that is Roger's favorite, which is Botas Pacutas. <laughs> Y'all know how I am. And it sells these boots that have these boot tips that go really far up, and they have cobra shapes. Given that... What the hell? Those are some funky-ass looking boots. I gotta see those again. Those are some crazy-ass boots. Boots that have... Look at them damn things. Bruh. Bruh. I mean, 
compensating much? I'm, I mean, I, I'm just saying. These boot tips that go really far up and they have cover shapes. Given that this is HQ, it seems like the perfect place to mastermind. I don't know if I'm getting too off topic, but while I have you lovely devs here, what is up with the second floor? My bad, y'all. I thought there was someone at the door. Is HQ, it seems like the perfect place to mastermind. I don't know if I'm getting too off topic, but while I have you lovely devs here, what is up with the second floor? So you found the Criminal Empire table, which is the Saints' war map for expanding across the city. Now, Criminal Ventures, the feature accessible here, isn't necessarily customization, but there's a lot of choices to be made. What venture you're gonna build and where you're gonna build it. 14 okay. different locations to expand upon. And as you build across the city, you're gonna shape this, this city landscape with your choices. We've got- Nice, so you're per you, you, he said it's not customization, but I mean, in a sense it is, because like he says, you, you can choose what ventures you want to get into, and then you can choose where you, you want to set up shop to, and so you can uh, help shape up like the, the uh, city landscape. So ultimately, you are customizing the whole entire city as well. Yo, that is fire. Yo, hold up, man. I'm going to have to do, put a jump cut here because I need to go check on some things. I'll be back. 20 minutes later. All right, my bad, y'all. I had to go check my mail because I just got my edibles today. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get right back into this thing thing. Gone over a lot today, all these customization features, and I know that Saints Row is a huge game. I mean, I saw that map. My God, the amount of hours that we will be spending in this game. But I have to know over everything, what is you guys' favorite extra or low-key feature we maybe didn't get to talk about today? I love that we don't have anything gender specific. You can hide the nudity in the game or you can choose not to and you can choose to block that. I love messing around with the food trucks. I like So we got, you know, different options with the nudity. Okay. Really personalizing to more of my style. And look at that, you can put the Now y'all know due to YouTube's terms of service, we obviously we can't show any nudity, so I'm probably gonna be playing around with like the the the, the, the uh, different objects that be covering up the bits, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we, 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 is, we is not trying to get canceled up in this piece. Anyway. We put the tacos on top of the weenie truck. It, it's just, there's so much to do. Suntans are one of my favorite choices in the skin selections. They always make me laugh. You, you, you could do the uh, suntan and everything, too. Okay. Okay. I wonder if you could do the uh, the uh, special um, Donald, uh, Donald Trump uh, suntan as well. We've already gone through so many cool customization features today, and it was really awesome taking a deep dive on Saints Row with you guys. I know you're so hard working on something new, so is there anything we should be on the lookout for as fans? I know everybody wants to dive in and play with these tools, create their perfect boss, but what I can confirm is that something is coming out that will let you do that. Create your own boss, express yourself, and that'll all happen before the game releases on August 23rd. So just look forward to hearing more so the game's coming out August 23rd. Okay, I can't wait. I'm about to go pre-order that, that bitch. Let's go. From our socials and from sandsfair.com just to get the opportunity to possibly play with these tools. Well, if you're like me, you guys are already packing your bags for Santo Aleso. And you mm -hmm. know what, while we're here, I just want to give a huge shout out of thanks to Brian Traficante, Danielle Benthine, Kenzie Lindgren, and Roger Smith for taking me through this weird, wonderful, wild west of customization options in the new Saints Row. From serious to silly, badass to monstrously absurd, to the wildly unexpected, one thing is for certain. You'll have all the tools you need to make yourself truly self-made. I'm Mika Burton. Adios, amigos. <clears throat> so there it is. August the 23rd of this year. Saints Row. The reboot Saints Row game will be out. And yes, I'm about to go pre-order right after this. But first, just got to say, I don't know about y'all, 
I'm stoked. You know what I'm saying? I think they totally won me over with the customization. They When they said, man, a, a wide array of customization options, I mean, they were not playing. You, Of course, you can customize your character. And they went, you know, deeper into the into the character into the character creation suite, you know what I'm saying, with bringing back the uh, layered clothing, and being able to change all the different um, items, you know what I mean, in your in your apparel, you know what I'm saying, your in your fit, everything, man, from your shirts, you know, the innerwear, the outerwear, you know, your socks, you know what I'm saying, to your to your kicks, and uh, I love the different vehicle uh, customization options that we got to see so far. I'm sure it, it it's much more extensive than what they were able to show. Um, and then, yeah, and I love the fact that, you know, the home base is going to be in a church, so it'll be a traditional Saints Row game, you know what I mean, and we get to customize, you know, our Saints Row, or our Saints HQ, excuse me, you know what I mean, which is going to be nice, and we can customize our gang, we can customize our weapons now, that's going to be freaking fire, I can't wait to mess around with this game, it's going to be so much fun. Um, uh, yeah, I'm stoked for it. Like I said, I'm about to go pre-order that, that, that some bitch right, right now, right after I end this video. So with all that being said, yo, it's your boy Jason JV saying if y'all, um, let me know how y'all feel about this game. Are you guys with it now? Um, are you still having doubts about the game? Let me know in the comment section down below. We can definitely rap about it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, if you're with this video, don't forget to, uh, you know, mash that thumbs up down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment. Uh, subscribe if you have if you haven't done so already that'd be greatly appreciated and uh yeah don't forget to check out of course all the links in the video description down below that'll be greatly appreciated as well until the next one y'all have a blessed one peace